Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. Um, I'm coming on just to give you some more general readings to see where your energy is, see what you got going on. Please do me a favor, hit the like button, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That helps to get my channel out there to people who need to hear the same message you're hearing. Remember red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, and yellow hearts if you just rock with me. Um, no matter if the message resonates or not. Uh, do me a favor if you need to get any information about me or try to contact me. All the information is in the description box as well as um, the link for the personal uh, readings and also to purchase cups. Remember everything you do to support my channel helps me to continue to do this and to get the messages out. Um, go back and look at the videos. My, my messages are timeless even though they have a date on them. They are still timeless if it's meant for you to hear it. If you click on it and you get a message out of it, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's just moving forward. My channel is not to trigger you. It's so that you can get through this thing we call life and understand why you feel like you've been put to, you've been put to the test or you're being tested. Um, so far, the cards that come out is nostalgia, nostalgia, introverted, and we have dating and romance and movement. So some type of memory and you being introverted. Or the person that you're dealing with, take what resonates. And dating and romance makes you feel triggered because you're moving forward, because you're holding on to the memories. That's kind of how I see this energy right here. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, it's not for you. Don't try to make it fit. Um, we are Cancers. You guys, it's almost our birthdays. A um, couple more days and it's, it's our time. So uh, you guys, do me a favor. If you guys go over to TikTok. Um, I am posting under Phoenix Empath and also under Twitter, it's Empath Phoenix. Um, I don't know why it changed up, but anyway, that's what happened. I don't know. Maybe I forgot about the channel, but everything was the Phoenix Empath or not Phoenix Empath, not the, but Phoenix Empath Intuitive. Also, if you're looking for all the other signs, because I am doing this thing called learning how to record. Um, my other channel, The World is Waiting Tarot, which is uh, there, it's on YouTube, you can find all signs if you want to look back and uh, listen to some of the readings that I have did for the other signs um, and see if anything resonates. We're clarifying nostalgia, just to let you know, um, to look back to see if anything resonates. Nostalgia comes out with beauty. My reading I just did had the same first card that came out, which was beauty. So the memories uh, cause you to either maybe not see the beauty in yourself, but it also is you recognizing your beauty. You're recognizing your passions. You're recognizing the things that, you know, make you feel whole. This is, you know, the ability to nurture, to see the beauty and to grow. Sorry. And also, uh, yeah, that's just how I see that energy. Sorry, I had to move that. You can see my microphone in the shot. I'm going to scoot it back a little bit. But yeah, so that is you recognizing the beauty uh, in yourself. And so it says with the Empress energy, nurture your creative gifts and talents. Share your gifts with the world. Sorry, I have to look back and read. Share your gifts with the world and create all that you do, um, all that you desire in your life. And so the memories... Um, you're looking at and that is how you are moving forward in order to go after all of your desires now introverted cancer you know we like to be in our shell and not to speak our mind this to me but three of pentacles energy we still want to work as a team you know the dating and romance is for us to move forward and for somebody to accept the beauty in us and the experiences that we have and the memories that we made in order to move forward the three of pentacles energy is here Three of Pentacles is uh, completion, good teamwork, and good results. So you want to work with someone as a team. You want to make sure that everything that you're going after and everything that you're doing doesn't go in vain. And so your love, the way that, and, and that's the thing, like the past may have, and that is where your the movement of the dating and romance may be happening but it might be triggering you and it might scare you to move forward but sometimes you just have to step out on faith and do it and just you know hopefully yeah see the knight of pentacles energy comes out with unsure to me like you need clarity in regards to it and that's the reason why and this is how i read tarot um that's the reason why 
um, this part here, the dating um, romance, is causing you, the triggers are causing you to not go after it. The Knight of Pentacles energy um, says, sorry, um, you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles in the upright is stability, perseverance, and security. But in the reverse is struggle. You know, it makes you feel like, you know, you're, you're stagnant and you're struggling and you don't know how to do this because these things are causing triggers for you. Let's clarify this Knight of Pentacles and see what comes out. You know, these things are triggering you in order to move forward, you know, and try to date. You know, the introverted thing is keeping you in the house. The three, yeah, the pain of uh, the uh, heartbreak that you experience and also the Knight of Wands. The universe is telling you that you only live once. My Drake energy, right? Be bold, be fearless, and do what you love, you know? So, mm -hmm. I just feel like, you know, you love love, but you love the memories and you hold on to them. And moving forward triggers you. And so, the universe is telling you, be the cancer or the chariot. Get in the chariot mode and move forward. But also in your Queen of Wands energy, which is move forward with confidence, Confidence shines from the inside. Queen of Wands isn't out here, but confidence shines from the inside. When you love yourself, look at the cards that come out unsure. Can you see them? Uh, confidence shines from the inside. When you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. See, the burdens of the past are causing you stagnation. You know, you're holding on to those memories, and it's triggering you. And so, therefore, you have to move forward and not think about it. Just learn from it. It says, you know, old Rafiki says you either run from it or you learn from it. You have to learn from the memories of the past. And then, yeah, see, the Ten of Swords energy is backstab. See, you're not sure if anybody moving forward, the dating and romance, is going to backstab you again. So the best thing for you to do is to stay introverted and stay in the house. Yeah, because the Ace of Pentacles, you are, you know, having, you, you think about the clarity, but you also think about the separation which is the ace of swords in reverse the separation the difficult times and the confusion that this caused you of the heartbreak right so the heartbreak uh three of swords energy is um seeking liberation finding a way out and then also heartbreak so you keep constantly thinking about that situation and it's causing you to be triggered and so the emperor could be the person that you were dealing with the emperor type energy somebody who's stable um who let me tell you who was who has the stability the power and the authority to make decisions for you right that is who you've been holding on to those memories of that but in the reverse the emperor is tyranny chaos and anger somebody who is also full of anger and chaos and tyranny and so that part triggers you and think you make it makes you feel like everybody else is out there that same way the four swords energy is you know being patient um, but you're afraid to do that. So in the upright, the four swords is rest, relaxation, and being patient. In the reverse, it's being at a standstill, difficulties, and exclusion. Exclusion. You're excluding yourself from the situation because it's so difficult for you to face that it brings out a lot of fears in the nine of wands energy as you contemplate setting boundaries moving forward. The nine of wands energy is boundaries. The nine of wands energy is burdens. It's, it's no perspective and it's accomplishments in the upright, okay? Hold on, let me get this paper. But in the reverse, it's feeling disorganized. So you don't think that you're able to, you're going to be able to do this. Does that make sense? And so that is where the feelings come from. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't want to cough in the microphone. So I put it on mute, but this is being burnt out, you know, this is like, like not having any progress. And so that is another situation that you're feeling when it comes to having to set boundaries with new people, dating and romance, because you just want to let it all hang out literally and just come out of your shell. But the introverted you is like, no, I cannot do this because I've struggled far too long and I'm scared to move forward when it comes to a situation of new love. Does that make sense? Yellow hearts in the comment if that makes sense. So it gives it makes you feel like there's a lot of pressure and you feel overwhelmed. And so that is where the triggers come in at. And then we have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is struggle. You know, the five of pentacles is, you know, trying to 
get to the point to where you can, you know, either you're fearing losing the person of the past or you're feel, fearing the struggle or the isolation that you're going through. But it's easier to be alone and not to deal with the situation. And so the five of pentacles in the reverse is recovery, hardship and a crisis. You are trying to get and recover through this and trying to see if you want to uh, tackle this thing called romance and dating. But you just the easiest thing for you to do is to stay triggered and be in the house and so this is what we all want is the happy life happy wife energy the ten of cups energy and so with the ten of cups is love satisfaction and harmony but in the reverse is feeling uh, neglected and like it being poor timing and you're because your dreams are shattered and so that is where you need to get out of that situation at yep look at that i told you about the queen of wands this is in the reverse i mean in the upright sorry the trigger is coming with the universe saying listen oh uh excuse me Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock them without caring what others think. No matter if you're triggered, you have to move forward. You can't hold on to the past. You have to see the beauty in every experience. You have to see the beauty in yourself. And holding on to the past will allow you to stay stagnant and to hold on to something that may not happen. But if it's meant to happen, you can't lose it. So remember, if it's yours by divine right, the universe will send it back to you. The tree agate. The earth connections, inner peace and stability. This is what you have to practice your inner peace in regards to the past and understand that moving forward with confidence. I said it. She came out uh, moving forward. With confidence is better for you than to stay in the house and be triggered and keep rethinking the heartbreak and the pain of the past. You have to do the work with the king, knight of pentacles being here and you have to follow your heart with my Drake energy, the knight of wands energies. The knights um, are excuse me, the night's energy is taking action. So you have to take action in regards to having the things that you want and need and that you deserve. So this deals with the heart and the crown chakra. Your crown chakra is your spirituality, the selflessness, giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. Everybody isn't going to treat you the way that you were treated in the past. So you have to get out of that shell, the wisdom there, having the intuition, you know, queen, a high priestess energy, something that can only be understood through experience. Experience, and that's what you have to experience that everybody isn't going to hurt you your heart excuse me your uh throat your heart chakra sorry is the ability to love to be harmonious and to forgive you have to forgive whoever hurt you in the past and move forward forgiveness is hard because it's not a two-sided street it come it's a one-sided street you have to learn to sit with everything that you went through and understand that that if you came on the other side of it it made you stronger thank that person move forward and say you know what Bless them wherever they are, but don't come back if that's what you don't want. If you want them to come back, bless them and send healing energy to them any way it goes. But, you know, and expect for them to come back. And that's just how I see it. I'm not going to tell you that it's wrong for them not to come back. I'm going to tell you to follow your heart. Always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. That is the Knight of Cups energy. It's not out here, but that's just letting you know. So the affirmation here is I am connected to the natural cycles of life. These are cycles that you have to go through in order to be strong and staying in the house and not moving forward is going to cause more triggering energy than anything. And you will never let go of the past and never move forward if you don't get out and be confident. Confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself, own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think. If you guys are still here in the chat um, excuse me, if you guys are still here, um, please like the video. Again, liking the video helps get uh, the channel out there to people who need to hear this message. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, and green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you just rock with me, and orange hearts if you love my new microphone. All right, I'm getting used to it. So, again, let's say our affirmation and release this energy of the past. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health and addictions. And remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing or a situation. I love you guys.